Hi everyone, time again to try yet another lovely salmon pattern. Uh, so if you uh, enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe and hit the, the thumbs up button. Uh, let's begin. There we are. So uh, let's start tying. I'm gonna attach uh, oval silver tinsel uh, in the end. Just gonna tie it in a bit more and then I secure the whole tinsel. There we go. So tight wraps the silver tinsel. It's gonna be sufficient. Or maybe two more wraps. There we go. I'm just gonna use a lot of it to secure it. It's gonna be fishing fly next season. So I'm just going to build up the body a bit here. There we go. Then I have breast feather of the golden pheasant. a bit of the stem as well uh, to make sure it's robust for fishing. There we go. <coughs> then we have a few different tinsel to apply to this one. Uh, one twist, silver twist. the way and then just tie it in. There we go. Back again. We're gonna have flat uh, silver tinsel. So I'm just hang that one in as well. Out of the way. There we go. Now we can start with the seal fur. Let's start with the, the yellow one. So it's going to be three part body, blue, blue and red. 
see a bit more yellow. There we go. <clears throat> so before I attach the blue one, I'm gonna attach the here on. So I'm just gonna move the fibers backwards, creating a good tie-in point. There we go. So before I do anything else, I'm gonna make sure to wax the thread. Red uh, silver. Then we're going to start with the tinsel. 
I always start with a flat tinsel. Dubbing needle is good here just to make sure you don't tie in any hair on feathers. twist just follow behind and the flat silver tinsel Almost done, and then just tie it in. Then we can cut off the extra tin cell. Adding a bit more wax to the thread. Then I just add a few more wraps there. Make sure everything is secure. I'm the hero. So just folding it backwards while you wrap it after and the twist. Then the twist is like uh, protecting the stem. There we go. I'm gonna use the rest of the hair on as well. So just securing it. And then we can cut off the stem with the fibers. There we go. A bit more back strand. Just going over it. And then we have the front tackle. To tie, be able to tie it in as well. There we go. It's going to add there. Uh, a lot of texture to the fly. Uh, I was looking for my wax <laughs> just in front of me. So let's cut off these feathers first. Yeah, 
Then we're gonna take this one. Then we just fold the feathers backwards as always. And I'm gonna use everything. There we go. And now we just tie it in and secure it. Now we have a good foundation for our wing. Just gonna make sure that I build up properly. There we go. Now it's starting to look like a fly. So I'm just gonna brush a bit. And what I normally do is just to fold the feathers to the side. Making room for the wing. This one, we're gonna have brown wings. So I'm just gonna pair them. There we are. Let's see if I get them as I want them. Not really. I want it to sit much lower. I'm gonna reset. I'm very, very rusty, my god. Uh, you lose a lot of uh, control when you haven't tied in a while. And for me, it's like half a year. So I'm gonna. Wax the thread again and just building up the head a bit more. more turns then I'm satisfied then I just fold the feathers again to the side and once again pairing the wing Reset it. So let's see if uh, it looks like we want.
little bit high still. Getting there. Now I'm happy. Just gonna move a few fibers away. Oh, sharp hook. That's good. Brush. Just playing around a bit. Wanted to make make it look good. There we go guys, so just going to uh, uh, cut off the leftovers and then wax the thread and then uh, use some uh, varnish. So guys, that's uh, how you tie the three color, uh, really nice uh, uh, salmon fly, uh, like it a lot. Um, so that's it for today, hope you enjoyed the video, see you in the next one, bye.